Red Dead Redemption has to be one of my favourite games of all time. And with the prequel Red Dead Redemption 2 releasing three years ago, that love was reignited, as it was for lots of players of the now 10 year plus old game, furthermore bringing new players to the franchise as well. Further capitalising on this by rejuvenating Red Dead Redemption would have literally been a licence to print money, and yet so far Take-Two Interactive and Rockstar Games seem to have shown little interest in doing so. There is fair reason for this, however you're probably wondering why we're talking about this today. Recently, Take-Two Interactive has confirmed it's working on three unannounced remasters of previously released games, alongside obviously remastering Grand Theft Auto V for the current generation, and while these unannounced remasters could be coming from anywhere under the vast umbrella that is Take-Two Interactive, and I seriously doubt that Red Dead Redemption is one of them to the point where I would put money on it, fans' hopes have of course looked straight to Rockstar Games, with a lot of people hoping for remasters to previous Grand Theft Auto titles as well, and others hoping for a remaster to Bully which would be cool, but it does remind me of the one thing that I would like to see from Rockstar Games, which is a remake, or a remaster if that's even possible, of Red Dead Redemption. So in this video I'm going to go over why I believe that Red Dead Redemption needs a remake. Maybe needs a strong word, but it would be nice. I'll explain why a remake makes more sense to me than a remaster later on in the video, as I'm aware that it's usually the opposite that's ordinarily easier. I'll also go over why this likely will not happen as well, because... I'm not stupid. Unless you're watching this video in an ideal future where a Red Dead Redemption remake has indeed happened, in which case I must be looking pretty silly right now, but I guarantee you at that point I will not care because I'll be living a life of bliss. So without further ado, let's get cracking. Red Dead Redemption was released back in May of 2010, which was 11 years ago, and while it hasn't aged poorly for a game that's 11 years old, it certainly could do with some touching up and modernisation, and no game highlighted this better than its own prequel which released in 2018. Red Dead Redemption 2 sported so many improvements that it's literally impossible to list as we'll be here all day, both visually and mechanically, though such improvements were expected considering they were released 8 years apart. But the thing that made Red Dead Redemption to arguably my favourite game of all time is just how deep it is. The attention to detail in this game was sublime. Everywhere you went you found something of interest, something to make you ask questions. The first game had this, albeit much less intense, but with 2 even when you weren't doing something there was still always something to do in the way that you would interact with the world or the options made available to you, and it genuinely made for one of the most engaging and immersive open world experiences that I've ever played. With Red Dead Redemption 2, Rockstar has proven that they are capable of immense attention to detail in ways that are miles ahead of what everyone else is doing now, let alone what people were doing 10 years ago including themselves. And so to see this then applied to one of Rockstar's best games ever, at least in my opinion, would make for a lot of very happy fans and also promote Red Dead Redemption to newer audiences. The ugly truth being there are plenty of people out there who are closed minded to playing older games, granting people the privilege to play an ultimate version of this incredible game, and also with ambition to the scale of Rockstar Games, you can't tell me there weren't things that the developers wanted to do with this game but couldn't back before they released it in 2010. Also it seems the groundwork for such an undertaking is sort of there in Red Dead Redemption 2, as in the epilogue you can visit New Austin, most of which is completely not relevant to anything story related along with the parts of West Elizabeth from the original which has some story stuff going on in it in the epilogue and of course the foundation of the Mexico area is also built and just sort of sat there vacant that we can't visit and so realistically the entire world space for Red Dead Redemption is in Red Dead Redemption 2 ready to be used or at least prepared to be built upon and so maybe that's an opportunity that will be a massive shame to see go to waste. It's just unfortunate that if anyone can afford to waste that, it's Rockstar Games and Take-Two Interactive. The question you probably want an answer to right now is why a remake and not a remaster, and the reason really comes down to something that I heard a while back and made sense. Red Dead Redemption released on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, and they've never ported it to PC or more up-to-date consoles as the years went by, and the reason for that was apparently that Red Dead Redemption's coding was too buggy and too messy, and the development was actually a disaster start to finish, and it was a miracle the game arrived at all. 
all, and sorting that out proved to be more hassle than it was worth. The PC market wasn't deemed to be viable enough to make that worthwhile at the time, and that's why it never came to PC. As for console with the backwards compatibility ability of Xbox, it was never seen necessary because you could just fire up an Xbox One, or even now an Xbox Series X or S, and fire the game up just fine. And so the pain of this allegedly bad code makes it seem more sensible to remake the game in Red Dead Redemption 2 and use that as a foundation rather than remaster the game which would sound easier. But I suppose it is worth saying that all of this is unconfirmed stuff as I don't know what goes on inside a studio that I don't work at and I also have no sources to back it up but it does appear to be commonly accepted as the case and so this could all be unfounded rumour but it just makes sense as to that being the reason why Red Dead Redemption came to PC when other Rockstar games at the time did and even now Red Dead Redemption 2 is on PC which goes to show that Rockstar would have done it for Red Dead Redemption had they deemed it worth the effort and there was definitely something that hindered that. And so with that in mind, maybe the foundation being Red Dead Redemption 2 would be a viable alternative, meaning a remake rather than a remaster. But I also can't imagine that being particularly straightforward. So I'd imagine it boils down to the question, would that be worth doing either? And I suppose the answer is probably not. Especially considering Rockstar games can invest far less energy into their pre-existing titles and still rake in stupid amounts of money. Since its release in 2013, Grand Theft Auto V has sold over 150 million copies, and that ridiculously high number of sales has shown no signs of stopping anytime soon. Initially it released on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, and then later the Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and PC, and a year ago it was revealed that they are going to be remastering it again, bringing it to the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S, and no doubt that's going to rake in even more stupid amounts of cash. And then when you consider again the focus on Grand Theft Auto Online, that also likely brings in stupid amounts more cash, and that live service is still going strong even 8 years later. I suppose they're trying to do a similar thing albeit much less successfully with Red Dead Online. The ridiculous side of it aside, Take-Two Interactive knows where the money is, and while they are planning to release more remastered titles in the future, is a high effort remaster like Red Dead Redemption or even a remake of that game on the cards? The answer is more than likely not. For as long as Rockstar keeps milking Grand Theft Auto Online and Red Dead Online, I don't see any world at all in which too many remasters or remakes in any capacity are going to be possible. Because besides for the love of doing it, there's really no reason to do it at all. And in these instances, there's always got to be more motivation than simply just for the love of doing it. But it would be really fucking nice, wouldn't it? And so there you go, that's a video on the reason why I believe a Red Dead Redemption remake would be absolutely brilliant, even a remaster I'd literally take anything, but more than likely won't happen and why. I've done videos in the past talking about the prospective Red Dead Redemption remaster slash remake, usually disproving rumours, but I've never done a video talking about why it should happen, even if it is against the odds. And so this video today has certainly satisfied my urges to do so, and one day hopefully it's more than just our hopes and dreams. Will we ever see a Red Dead Redemption remaster or remake? I suppose only time will tell. It's not impossible even if it seems unlikely, but that does bring us to the end of this video. So thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff, that would be super fantastic. Be sure to let me know down in the comments section your thoughts on all of this. And I also left a sneaky uncle lazing about at some point in this video. Find him and comment the timestamp down below for a pat on the back. And of course, hopefully I'll be seeing you all very soon with another video at some point. And if you want to catch my streams as well, then you can find me over on Twitch. There will be a link down in the description. We have a lot of laughs over there. But until next time, please do take care and goodbye.